Hello, everybody! It's me, your good friend Sparky, getting back to some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links! It's been a couple days, but unfortunately, when the weekend comes, that's usually my, uh, work time. And it gets a little difficult to record videos and find the... will to both do my job and live at the same time. So, now that I have a day off, though, it's time to... Do a little more Yu-Gi-Oh! fun, continuing on with the Trey Arrives event that ends in a couple days. And, uh, I did admittedly do some of this off-screen. I did a lot of this off-screen. We're actually fairly close to finishing the event. I'm just gonna take a look down here. Uh, yeah, we've only got two more milestones to reach before we get the event completion flag. And, uh, we've actually got a few more story events that we did. Actually got all of them. How about that? But thankfully, we can watch them back. So we saw episode two last, I think. Maybe? Let's replay this one just in case. I think this is the one that played when we un were unlocking Trey. Yeah, he's talking to Quattro. Okay. That's all that one was. But, uh, just because I believe we are going to go back and rewatch these story events and you can hear my lovely interpretations of these characters. Once again. Wah! It's Waluigi! I'm the winner of this duel! Way to go, Trey! Thanks! I didn't expect to find so many duelists who were possessed by numbers! But I didn't expect to find Chronomalies either. I wonder if they're related. You think there's a reason why numbers and Chronomalies are both showing up? It's too much of a coincidence if they're not! I get it. Well, I actually don't get it, but you're the smart one! Can there really be a connection between numbers and chronomalies? Something bothering you, Astral? No, it's nothing. But look, Yuma, there's a new number you must face. Another one? Can't I ever take a break? Wah wah. Yuma, Astral, let's go! And, uh, after that story event, it unlocks what, uh, is the extended challenge of this event, which are the tag duels. Uh, I will show off the tag duels as I get to them. I'm pretty close to, uh, getting one ready for us. But, uh, in place of Trey powering up his deck, you instead face off against powerful, number-wielding duelists who utilize- who you face off against in a tag duel. You can either partner up with Yuma, you can either partner with Trey, or you can partner up with Quattro, who was unlocked after this episode played. There's no end to them! Numbers keep coming and coming! Larg! You two look like you're having tons of fun. Quattro? Quattro! Quattro, I think this is getting a bit, a bit too much for you to handle, Trey. I'm fine, but it's true that there are a lot of them. There's no shame in asking for help. You're going to help us, Quattro? I promised my brother I'd come to the rescue if he got into trouble, so here I am. Besides, I was getting bored taking down the weaker two lists. If this herd has numbers, then they're worth dueling. And defeating, I mean. And when I beat them, they're sure to become my fans. <laughs> Yeah, Quattro... Quattro's got a thing. For treating his fans like garbage. 
But, uh, apparently, according to the Quattro event, they like it, which is also a little weird. Anyway, episode 5. <laughs> I activate a continuous trap! This card will destroy everything! What? That card is... It cannot be! Final Prophecy! Oh no. Gasp. Craziness. Oh dear. Final Prophecy is the card that Trey used on our duel! It'll open a portal to another dimension and swallow this world whole! Wow, it's some trading card. Final Prophecy is proof that this world is linked to other dimensions! Dots. It's time for you to feel the flow, Trey! Yuma? Like before, me, you, and Astral work together to stop that card! Let's do it again by feeling the flow! But due to Final Prophecy's effect, we'll take damage next turn and lose! Then let's make sure there's not a next turn to win and win this turn! Yuma! You're right, Yuma! Let's win using the power of my crest! And by feeling the flow! Yuma, I'll fight using a number of my own! IXC Summon! Reveal yourself! Number 6, Chronomaly Atlantis! And let's just watch this, because it's awesome. I really appreciate that he just has, like, a whole volcano on his shoulder. It's pretty awesome. When Atlantis is summoned, it equips a number from the graveyard and gains its attack! Resurrect Utopia! And we get Utopia's sub in the animation too, just cuz. Whoosh. This is the light of camaraderie that can only be forged in battle. With it we deal we will deal judgment from the dawn of time. It's pretty epic. Go! This is the power of friendship! Rising Sun Atlantis Slash! Swing! And yeah, that is the story events for uh, the tray event. There's probably going to be one more cutscene available as the uh, event ends coming up in a couple days here. But uh, in addition to that, there are also special um, little story bits that played the first time you chose partners as your tag duel in the tag duels. If it's a tag duel, we'll land you in hand! Our opponents are numbers. You must proceed with caution. You know I always do, Astral. Let's high-five the sky! Catchphrase number two! And one with Trey. If you're fighting for those you love, then I'll fight for you. I'll help you duel against the numbers. We fought against each other in the past, but this time I'll fight by your side. And lastly, Quattro. Heh, <laughs> you can't handle two measly numbers on your own. Trey asked me to keep an eye on you. Therefore... I'll treat them like I treat my fans. Sit back and enjoy the show. And yeah, that should be all of the story bits for the Trey event, and I believe I've got them all on camera now. If I'm missing one, I apologize. But, uh, I'd say it's time to jump back into some duels, now that we've gone through all of those, and, uh, show off Trey's deck and the changes I've made to it over the course of the, de the uh, past couple days. I finally, finally got myself another Chronomaly Moai. 
And due to level ups and more card pack unlocks, I've gotten a second crystal bones, and I've gotten a crystal skull. The new characters always have the problem where when they're first released, you don't always have access to every card that you would normally utilize for their decks. Like, some of the really useful ones they save for when the event comes around again, or when they decide to put them in new booster packs so you, you can try to convince people to spend their gems and money on them. So, I think I've got pretty much every Chronomaly card at this point that I can get access to. Except for uh, Neberdisk, who is in the new pack. I've got to get that still. And Chronomaly Technology, which is a later level up card for Trey. So I'm still a ways off from getting that. Uh, in addition to that, I've also been trying to get uh, Frostodon, I think his name is. It's the number that basically pairs with Volcasaurus. And he's generally just kind of a useful level 5 Xyz to have, because his effect is detaching his materials to use with the effects of other cards. So you pair him with Volcasaurus or uh, Shatu Huyak here, and he becomes pretty devastating. Um, I'm also to the point where I'm not relying as much as on my skill. So, I might switch up my skill at some point. What is this one? Send one monster from your deck to extra deck to the graveyard and change the level of all monsters on your level. Oh, okay. Send a monster to your graveyard from your deck. You can send one monster to your graveyard. What? Yeah, I gotta read this over again. Send one monster from your deck slash extra deck to your graveyard and change the level of all monsters on your field to the level rank of the monster you have sent to the graveyard. My phone is making noise. That's annoying. I forgot I had it in my pocket. I'm gonna mute that. Uh, my ringtone is the mashup of Michael Jackson's Who Is It and Ice Cap Zone from Sonic 3. I love that song, and that mix-up. Um, anyway, if you send a monster to your graveyard from your deck, you can send one monster to your graveyard from your hand. Interesting. The skill will only activate if you begin the duel with the deck that, with the conditions below. Your deck, extra deck, contains no monsters other than Chronomaly monsters or light number monsters. Your deck must contain 12 or more Chronomaly monsters. Okay. So that's a little limited, and I wouldn't be able to use basically most of my, half my, uh, extra deck here. I also stuck in Giga Brilliant, because he's a rank 3, and I've got three rank 3 monsters in here at this point. So, like I was saying, I'm not as relying on Divine Artifacts, I don't really need it as much anymore. Um, since I do have an Atlantis of my own, and I've got more cards here for the purposes of Xy summoning more easily. So I might switch up my skill at some point, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for right now. Anyway, let's do some duels and see if we can, uh, get ourselves some more prizes and finish up this event. Maybe not right now, but I definitely want to show off the tag duels at the very least. Or at least some of the tag duels. Ah, uh, take a I'll drink of tea. Really do. As doing those silly voices kind of tires my throat out. Especially Quattro. I know you're tricky with your moves. Wow. Power's flowing through every pore in my body! Duel. There it is. Okay. It's my turn. And honestly, monster. even though I'll it is a pretty I'll brutally strong card, I was thinking of taking monster. out Drowning Mirror Force. Because it sort of interferes with um some of my cards, like Crystal Bones. Sort of Crystal Bones 
to have Crystal Bones' effect activates, I need, um... I need to- my opponent needs to have a monster on the field. And if Drowning Mirror Forest bounces my opponent's monsters, then I can't really do anything with it. I might make that change after this duel and put in, um, Wall of Disruption instead. But of course, in this scenario where I don't have anything I can summon, uh, it's actually kind of helpful. Wall of Disruption also might pair well with um, some of the Chronomaly effects, too, that deal with changing your monster's attacks, opponent's monster's attacks. Maybe. Though that's really Machu Mech, and I can't use him yet. Eh, whatever. Uh, anyway, we're gonna use this to get Moai to the field and protect ourselves a little bit. Oh, but you're gonna use your effects. That was a waste of time. Whoops. And Dex determines not to give me a monster to use. Alright, get out of here. I'm set card still in the field. Golden Jet, a little more useful. Um, probably should have saved my life. I don't think this is going to end well for me. Let's just see what this is. It's a revival going. Okay, it just took a bunch of damage I didn't need to. That ends my turn. Uh, I'd really like to draw Crystal Bones right now. Because Crystal Bones pairs really great with the Chronomaly Moa, um, I mean, uh, Soul Model up here. Mud Golem! Ah, I'm just gonna end my turn. I'm gonna wait till next turn to see what else I draw. That's your monsters again. I have to I This is not ending well for me. Let us... Get Moai back. Um... Let's go for rank 5. You hear I'm saying that I'm not gonna be really... Don't really need this skill quite as much, and now I'm using it, and it's really my only option to deal any kind of damage. Um... Maybe trying to work around that other skill would be a good idea. It seems like, in general, it would end up being... A little more useful in the long run. My Might as well. Deal some kind of damage. Haha, uh, 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 he can't do anything. That's good. Now I draw crystal bones, because of course now I draw crystal bones. <laughs> It would have been enough if I summoned Crystal Bones. Might as well just hold on to him. Everybody just shut up. Everybody shut up! I gotta play it a little careful here, because if I don't... It can backfire pretty easily on me. And we're doing a cost down. Bring in this guy. Thankfully, he's not strong enough. Alright. 
Activate that just cause. Gonna use Volcasaurus's effect just cause. And Golden Jet finish him off. Ah, uh, that went a little clumsily. More so than I really would have liked. But, uh, Chronomaly Technology is at level 30, which is closer than I thought it was. And his last two cards are another Pyramid Eye and a Crystal Bones. Which, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use. Pyramid Eye is definitely a very useful card to have. Just because it powers up your chronomaly so dramatically. Alright, but now we've got a tag duel active. Get this out of the way. And 100% admittedly, these tag duels are kind of tricky. If you don't finish these, uh, these little girls off quick enough, they can really mess you up if you're not careful. <laughs> and it mostly focuses around all these um, number duels seem to be using rock cards to match Trey. And one of them even uses Machu Mech, which is kind of upsetting since I can't use it right now. <laughs> but, um... You know what? Let's just... Go for it. Let's just do our regular power up. But, uh. Let's show off a little bit of a tag duel. And we're gonna use Yuma and Astral as our partner first. I'll try to do one each with all of these guys. Just cause, you know. You seem it's appropriate. Sure you'll win. Allow me to change your mind. I have so much power. I, I feel like I can do anything. anything. Duel. It's like you're watching Reading Rainbow or something. My turn. All right. So not a bad opening hand. I forgot that I was gonna switch that. <laughs> oh well. Let's do this little combo. Special summon Crystal Bones. Uses effect. Special summon in Pearl Monolith. Use Monolith's effect. Change you to level 6. And. Do a little bit of an Xy summon. Chronomaly Atlantis! You and your big ol' fire feet. I don't really have... I mean, this guy is obviously gigantic. I don't really have, like, a knowledge of Zexel enough to, like, know how big he actually is. I know Trey and his brothers seem to have a habit of having gigantic Xyz monsters as their signature cards. Quattro's is also a rather large beast. Hey, we got our normal summon still, too. And uh, here comes the problem of the fact that they are also using rock theme decks. As their cards, ca your cards, if you're using Trey, can benefit them, and if you can benefit from them, too, but it's a little annoying. And if you let this drag on too long, and they get, uh, Triamid, um, what's it called? The Continuous Trap. I'm blanking on the name for some reason. If you let them get that to the field, they can basically destroy anything on your field if you let the duel drag on too long. Alright. And I think for the sake of just theming here... We can leave our partners on auto duel right now. Obviously, the easiest thing to do is to pair up 
your character with themselves and turn off auto duel, so you're just basically in control of two copies of your deck, and it makes it caught off guard by a burp. Apologize. It makes it pretty easy to uh, manipulate the duel in your favor. So I've obviously, while leveling up Trey, been partnering up with Trey a lot to have the easiest time of doing this. Uh, Yuma, you probably should have Xe summoned. Probably should have. If I'm being perfectly honest. Diamond Cruiser. Uh, thankfully, the way the AI uses the Triamid cards, they're not nearly as obnoxious as regular people are. <laughs> so, that's helpful, at least. I was going to use Buddy Force. Why does it want me to use Buddy Force? What can I use Buddy Force on? Oh, he has a rock. They have a rock monster. Okay. Yeah, let's use it. Just cuz. Let's do, uh... Ring 4. Detach. Banish that, get it out of the way. Monster Reborn, just cuz. And Annihilation. Alright, that didn't go too badly. But, like I said, if you let that go on too long, it can lead to trouble. So, if you're in the middle of trying to do this event yourself, try to take care of the tag duels as quickly as you can. And thankfully for defeating them, you get a lot of points. So, in combination with other things... I can get you a lot of stuff, and I think we'll probably be good to go after this next tag duel. We'll have event completion. But it does take a little while to get the tag duel going, so... Uh, let's see, how long have we been going? Uh, let's... We're gonna do one more deck change here, just cause we're gonna... Find ourselves Wall of Disruption. Where is it? Where is it? I know I have it saved as favorite. There you are. Wall of Disruption is another unnecessarily brutal punishment card. <laughs> when an opponent's monster declares an attack, all attack position monsters your opponent controls lose 800 attack for each monster they control. And that is a permanent drop. That is 2400 attack points, which cripples pretty much the vast majority of Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters for no cost to yourself, and it is just upsettingly powerful. <laughs> and in all honesty, how many Chronomaly monsters do I have? What is this skill? Is it Chronomaly cards or monsters? Go over more to Chronomaly monsters. I think that includes the extra deck, so that would be 10, 11, and yeah. Have 12. If I were to use that skill, it would mean in not using Frostosaurus like I want. And I would have to get rid of a couple other of these guys. Let's do a little research. Xyz, Light. Um, turn off favorites. Mmm. Hmm. I did think this guy in a recent pack opening by Linda Sigma. He's a three level four monsters. Uh, Cat Girl Magician. Um. A lot of the Constellar and these guys. These guys are super annoying, but I can't really use them. I can use Sky Pegasus. Hmm. 
It would fit the theming and trying to use just number monsters. It's something to consider, but I'm just gonna leave it as is for right now. I uh, got something right here. Uh, let's see, how many of these do I have? Dang. Duh. I, I guess it wouldn't be total event completion, because I still got these to work through. But, I'm not even 30 victories in, and I'm almost done with this event. That's kind of bizarre. But, um, yeah, looking at the time here. Let's do one more duel, and then we'll open some booster packs. Beat up this other uh, unsuspecting child possessed by a trading card from another dimension. Do this, open some packs, and then try to. I'll try to work my um, tag duel meter up again so I can do another tag duel. Actually, trying. Duel. I'll do that off camera though. It's my turn. Um. I activate the field spell. Chronomaly City. Chronomaly Mud Golem. Mud Golem. That ends my turn. my turn. Just see I what go. happens. End my turn. Uh, I summon a monster. Battle. Here goes. I well. I'll now end my, my turn. turn. That hurts. I draw. Oh, disruption. Is that that? Uh, hmm. We're gonna normal summon you. Crystal Bones. Because of the fact, here I am using the skill again, after I was saying that I don't really need it anymore. But now it is the most useful option to me, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Plus, I still kinda really want to use the Volcasaurus Frostodon combo. So, I might keep my deck as it is. As far as skills go. Unless I can get a different skill. Which I haven't really considered that. My Let's just do some effect damage. Put you at a very awkward amount of life points. Logosaurus can't attack directly the turn you use his effect, but that's alright. Um. Hmm. I draw! Another Chronomaly Moai. I don't really do anything with you right now. My I'm also considering taking out City Babylon. Just cause... I've got a much larger pool of different levels to work with now, and it's not coming in as handy as often. If I can get a Nebra Disc, I'd probably take this out for that. But... You know. I end my turn. Ready or not, we'll it's get to that when we get to that, I guess. Hmm. Crystal Skull. Moai. What is your attack? 900? I wouldn't be able to put you in attack position. Let's do something dumb. Deal some extra damage. I get you to the field. Maybe you can lure him into attacking and use our wall disruption. You don't know when to give up. I draw it my turn. From my hand. All this piece of the wild. I'm pretty sure this is the deck that can summon in Machu Mech. That's his extra deck card. And, like I said, that's kind of upsetting, because I can't use it yet. Ah, uh, whatever. Skull! Yay. Alright. Okay. So I think that would be pretty good for right now. Got ourselves some bonus things. 
I would, I would very much like to finish this event on camera. So, I'm gonna take a break from doing those duels and try to get another tag duel going. <sighs> Mommy, come on, man. Let's try this again, and, um, sort of try to get to the store without the game exploding again. Take these. And head it in here, let's do some booster pack openings. And what I've been doing is, when I'm going in to get booster packs, I've just been grabbing one of these? On the off chance I can grab a Frostodon out of here? Who is... Frizodon. I was calling him the wrong thing. I thought I was. Number 19, Frizodon. Once per turn you feed an Xyz monster you control would activate the spike by detaching an Xyz material. You can detach one Xyz material from this card instead of one of those Xyz materials. Xyz material, Xyz material, Xyz material. Weird name. Weird, weird seasons, Axel. What do we get? It's not a freeze on. But we do get Coach, Coach Soldier Wolfbark, who is all about the level 4 fire beast warrior type monsters in your graveyard and special summoning them to the field. Basically, XE summon material. Cool. Uh, anyway, enough of that. We will do what we've been normally doing for the rest of this. And, um, just uh, buy the rest of these as is. I still need Never Disc out of here. And, oh, didn't even bother to look at what that card was. We'll check it out in a second. Still need Never Disc. There's still the other, um, oh, here it is. Vengeful Servant. Still need the other gimmick puppet card in here, too. Uh, when controller of the equipped monster changes, inflict damage equal to half its original attack to the new controller. Interesting. And hey, we got ourselves Acid Golem. Who... Honestly, I might put in my tray deck. He is a bit of a... risky card. During your standby phase, detach one Z's material from this card or take 1,000 damage. You cannot special summon any monsters while this card has no Xyz materials. It cannot attack. So, he's kind of just a giant beat stick that comes with a huge penalty if he runs out of Xyz materials. But, he would make very useful fodder for uh, Atlantis. It would give him a 1500 attack boost since he's a number. So I might use him? I might try using him. And I guess, technically, it would be easy enough to just get rid of him, if you need to. With the Tribute Summon. If that would work out in my favor, anyway. And nothing else terribly useful there. But, uh, we did get another Secret Rare out of the pack. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna work on trying to get another Tag Duel going here, but... Until then, I suppose that that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky, signing off for now. I'll catch you later.